everybody how you doing today well today is gonna be part two of my uh, awakening and it's gonna be about meditation simplified and how I started out hmm, 12 13 years ago and uh, I want you to show you that meditation is a very important part of your soul's uh, journey because it will help you understand your true purpose and why you're here. Okay? So let's start. When I first started meditating, uh, like you, I didn't like, like, what's that gonna do for me? I, I tried it a few times and kicked the bucket down the road and uh, figured, you know, uh, I'll try it later. And that's exactly what I did. <laughs> Yeah, I kicked the bucket down the road. And then I started realizing that, you know, sometimes having peace by yourself can truly help your, um, your anger out, your ego, your arrogance. Because people are going to begin to see that. They're going to begin to see how manipulating you really are. And uh, when they begin to see that, that's when your friends will begin to fall away. Especially if their hearts are open. So, when I first started, uh, first thing I did was I, I would lay down. And uh, close my eyes and, and just relax. The first thing you got to do is you have to clear your mind. Because if you got worry on it... Or you're worrying about this or that or bills or, you know, uh, anything to do with worry, uh, you, you need to put aside. Because that will keep you from finding true uh, meditation in a quicker way. So the first thing I do is ask your angels to, to assist you. That's what they're there for. So you can find this true peace within you because once you find the true peace within you that's when the the things that trigger you your arrogance or your ego or are going to start to fall away power over others always brings all these bad things to those people but remember they're going to they're going to drag those people back to them so 
I suggest that um, you try to open your heart and be more blessing toward people. Now, the ba- you know, toward the bad ones, that's a choice. That's up to you, whether you want to help them or not. I do because I know they need the help. But I don't extend my hand to where I'm going to get it bit off. Do you understand? Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's like a dog that's very mad and, uh, and you try to help it and, and all it does is bite you. Well... Um, these lower vibrations will do that because you're vibrating higher than they are. So they get really agitated and irritated, just like what's going on right now in the world. (laughs) Because the vibration is moving up on a planet. And um, I want to help you guys uh, find your, your beautiful vibration so that you can, uh, deal with the circumstances that are coming. So find us a quiet spot to lay down in. Um, Another thing too is you might want to pick up, uh, hold that thought. Okay, I'm back. (laughs) Yeah, uh, you might want to pick up one of these. They're an eye mask, but they do truly help especially if you're trying to do it during the day. This helps. And I've been doing this a long time. Now, some of you might find other masks. Um, I've, I've tried the ones with the pillows in them, and all they did was just bother my eye. It's just, um, I don't need 100% coverage, but there's masks out there that do that. Of course, you're going to pay for them. But when you get later on down when you're meditating uh, and you're getting better at it, you won't need to have a full, you know, <laughs> a full thing over your eyes. Uh, it'll just come naturally. So here we go. I um, took this. Uh, I, I didn't know about this. Uh, it was probably four or five years before I went to one of these. That's why I'm suggesting one now if you're starting out because it truly helps. Uh, You just need to kind of keep that light from blazing in so you can see something. Hi. So everybody, when you, when you put this on, you may see like a, um, a halo around that mask, like lights leaking in. It's not, it is a halo, but it's inside. It's a halo. It's your inner workings. That's your eye opening up. And then, but if you just wait a, f- a few, like 30 seconds, maybe even a minute, that halo will go away. If you don't believe me, try it. But I've been doing this a long time. Yeah. That's why a lot of people get the full face mask because they think light is leaking in and it's not. It's your eye opening up inside. It's that halo from your eye. I just thought I'd give you a little, uh, you know, a little technical, so you know. So, I lay down to do it. Try not to lay down when you're extremely exhausted or tired, because you'll just fall asleep. But you might have some visions. Um, If you're truly wanting to uh, find the deeper uh, you inside, and, uh, and you truly ask your angels from your heart, they will assist you. Yeah, they will. And we also have what we call the higher self. He's kind of like the big version of you. He, he's the big heart piece. You're just the, the little, the little heart, a piece off of him. That's why you don't realize just how grander you truly are how much more you truly understand about yourselves. So I'm going to give you this 101 simplified meditation, okay? You are not going to like pick up on it instantly. No, you won't. Okay, so you're going to have to have a little patience. But patience does pay off. It did for me. So here we go. 
I lay down and I try to find a quiet spot. You know, even if I had to go to the woods uh, just to lean up against a tree or sit and just listen to the ambient sounds. That helps huge because when you meditate, you can actually rejuvenate the energy that you, you're so drained. You know, why you're so, uh, uh, you got this huge weight on your shoulders. And in some of my videos I've talked about, go out in the woods and make your own decisions because that's going to be the best. You know, take your best friend, your mom or your dad, or, you know, uh, you can listen to them and take their wisdom, but you truly ultimately make your own decisions. Um, because I always say if someone else makes a decision for you and you abide by it and down the road, it's not what you wanted. And you're very sad about what the, the position you're in at that moment. You can change. Listen to what your heart says. That's the best. That's the best advice I can give anybody right now. Go within and listen to what your heart is telling you. The true you. The one that you don't want to show everybody. Because we've all been taught that in the beginning, you know, I'm this guy and and I got the mask on. So everybody sees me who I want to be. Who my ego wants to be. Who my arrogance wants to be. When you meditate, you can remove the mask. Put it away. And then you will have more power within you than you ever had with the mask on. Okay? Now, when you open your heart, you're going to start... Um, I'm not going to say you're going to lose friends, but you're going to start wanting not to be with them because their energy isn't going to be where yours is at. You're going to have to let them go. And it's up to you how you let them go. Just, you know, do what your heart says. If you don't want to be with that person, then then don't. <laughs> Listen to your heart because your heart is the one that's telling you how to get away from the situations you're in that are making you so sad. You know, um, prosperity, it's the hardest of all things in this world because everybody wants to live like the guy on the TV. Well, I'm telling you, that guy may be living that way on the TV. He may be doing whatever he wants, but he will never find the true love that you're truly looking for. I always say, whenever you give back to humanity, that's when you will begin to find prosperity. I mean, I'm not looking to be rich, but I sure am looking to not have to look in my checking account again if I want to go do something or I want to go places. That's all I asked our creator for. It's a pretty simple, uh, you know, note. <laughs> Besides some other things that I have to do down the road. Um, so in this meditation, you're going to close your eyes and you're going to start seeing uh, black. <laughs> it's going to be dark. And it may do this the first uh, 30 days. Yes. But you're going to start seeing something inside. You're going to start seeing motion in this blackness. And I can't describe, it's not like clouds moving. It's just motion. And pretty soon you'll get like a, uh, a picture of something, a view. It'll just be very quick and very slight. And you're going to go, oh, wow, what was that? So keep going because that's good. It means that you're, you're learning to uh, listen to your heart over your mind. Remember I told you, you, you come here not to expand this. You came here to expand the heart. That's right, this. That's why you're here. A dimension is a place of being. It's a, it's a, it's where your where your consciousness is at. 
if you have a very loving consciousness, then you're going to be higher up in, in on the dimensions. And then there's timelines. It gets complicated, but I'm not going to get into this right now. I'll do a, like a down-the-road simplified version. The thing I want to do is get you to meditate because this will truly open your heart and you'll begin to start seeing um, words will start coming to you easier. Your vocabulary will become more robust. So, while you're uh, laying down and you see this, this darkness and you see motion, you may get an image or you may see some violet. In this image, you're, uh, uh, when I first started out, there was uh, more and more violet. Uh, this violet color was coming into my images. And that's telling you that you're cracking open your soul, <laughs> your heart. Um, we, we sometimes, it's, um, and these colors are in relation to your aura, to your chakras. And we're not going to get into that yet either. I just want to show you how I started out. So it'll help you uh, meditate easier and find your soul's true path. As, as the days go on and you find this meditation, uh, you know what? You only got to meditate for, well, when I first started out, it took like a half hour. I like to meditate for a half hour because it took me a little while to quiet my mind, my heart, and the ambient sounds outside of me. But now I can just meditate no matter where I go. In, in an instant, I can meditate. And it truly helps you rejuvenate your energy. Because when you meditate, it's connected to all those chakras. Your your light body, we call it the light body. Everybody has an aura. And I'm gonna be showing you this aura. Not everybody uh, knows about it, by far, very few. But I'm gonna give you uh, a quick peek into the light that nobody can truly see. It's your creator's light. And when you practice you can actually see the aura uh, of, a, of a human being by just gradually staring at the crown. Here. Stare here. And now don't stare. Just gradually look. And you might be able to see a white like halo over their shoulders. That's right. You'll start to see this white halo. But as you move on, it will get um, colorful. So meditating has great benefits for you, your soul, and your, your, your time while you're here. Okay, so you're going to start seeing these, this motion become, uh, actually it'll start opening up a little. It'll be like when you look up in the clouds and you see a cloudy day, but all of a sudden you get a, 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 a blue, a, a piece of blue in the cloud where you can just see the clouds. Well, that's what you'll start seeing is a little bit like that. It's not exactly like that, but I'm just trying to, let's say it's a kind of like nighttime clouds, you know, and you got the moon above there. You know, how sometimes the moon comes through some of those dark clouds that are up there. That's yeah, kind of the, the uh, metaphor I'm trying to tell you. Okay. And you will also begin to see more violet light. Sometimes it may be magenta. Or it could be other colors. It just depends where you're at consciously. So as the weeks and days go on, it may take you uh, a month or two to, uh, but once, once you uh, open your heart, that meditation is going to come quicker. It's going to be easier to meditate. And you're going to see amazing things in there. And um, uh, when I first started out, um, I had to uh, clear uh, 
a lot of stuff that was inside of me out. So I had a tough time. I had to deal with, how would you say, um, people. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. As you're meditating and you're beginning to feel relaxed, um, just close your eyes and try not to worry about your outside world, about bills, about girlfriends or boyfriends, relationships. Just let your mind clear. You can try putting music in, but I found that the music uh, doesn't quite do what you could truly get out of it. Um, anyway, I have done music, and music is a type of meditation. Just as a lot of things are uh, a type of meditation, even walking in the woods is a type of meditation. But the meditation that I'm telling you about is opening this, called the third eye, the insight of who you truly are. So, as you become more proficient and you start noticing, um, and it's in and, and, and these times, you need to ask your angels to help. Okay? And it must come. Not because you, th you think you're going to just ask them. It must come from here. Make sure that everything you ask for comes from here. And things will begin to develop a lot quicker. As you advance, as you can start to see images and amazing places. I've seen animal uh, sanctuaries. Not of this world. Absolutely beautiful animal sanctuaries. Uh, animals that are different, but kind of look like ours. Bird sanctuaries. They're like ours, but they're more beautiful. And I have a whole lot more to tell you. But let's get you on this meditation so that it'll help you uh, build strength of your inner soul. Because this will do this. Um, when you begin to, after maybe three months, and you really start to begin to uh, see these amazing things that you're seeing inside, but remember, you got to try to clear the mind of all the rump, the, the, the outside world. You got to try to clear that out of your mind and just be blank. Maybe hard to do, but I did it. It took me about three months, but I did it. And then that's when the Holy Grail opened. <laughs> I had um, met beings uh, of light. Uh, they, they just weren't, uh, they were human, but they were angelic beings. And you may meet these beings too. I don't know. Just remember, in this conscious world that you're heading to, when you open this up, you may run into some bad guys. Don't worry about it. Your guardian angels are there with you as you're transversing this corridor. Corridor. More like a, a portal or something. Anyway. When you lay down and all of a sudden you start to notice that your body is kind of like wiggling a little, like this. That's your chakras beginning to open. And you got, you got seven of these chakras. You got more than that, but I'm just going to talk about seven. And um, you're going to notice that when you lay down, that your body is just wiggling and you're really like, wow, what is that? That is your light body. That is the chakras in your light body beginning to open. And these things are spinning. As, as you want to read up on the aura or your chakras, read up because they spin like a cone. And you're in a lower density world 
So you're gonna you're gonna feel this like wiggle a little bit. You know, I'm trying to tell you what what I went through, and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I went through, so it can help you out. If you're truly wanting to do this meditation, I would highly try it. There's nothing wrong with trying it. And you'll be amazed at how much um, it can rejuvenate you. Just just a half hour of meditation. So, what I do is I would lay down and I would feel this, like, this wiggling or this medit, this, uh, these vortexes, uh, I, I, it's hard to explain because we have never transversed this uh, as a human society. And I want to tell you that when you meditate, there's huge beneficial things to it. Huge. So, you might feel this little wiggle, okay? It, it, all it is is, is just your chakras are beginning to open. And you're going to start seeing visions. Yeah. I don't know what you're going to see because mine are personally for me as yours will be personally for yours, for you. Remember I told you, your soul is much bigger than that body that you're in. I can tell you right now, you couldn't fit it all in there. <laughs> uh, I tell the higher self, hey, send me down a couple more parts, you know. <laughs> he's sick, he said, no, I can't. <laughs> I don't want to squeeze into that little thing of yours. <laughs> like a compact model you know so yeah you'll you'll start to uh, feel this like wiggling going on and then you're gonna start opening doorways you're gonna see maybe places that you've been that's right you heard me places you've been before in another lifetime the Western world is not aware of what the Eastern world already knows. A soul cannot grow in one lifetime. Ever. You're consciously always growing inward. And the, 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 the more I see more of my soul growing, the more I understand how our Creator uh, grows within us because he is a part of us. Your creator is a part of everything. Everything around you, what you see, the birds, the animals, he is that creator. You know, and in, in, the, in the Bible, it says, you know, God's like a man. He, he is, he's more than the man. He's more than the woman. He's everything. He's you. That's right. He's you. And I'm going to try to crack that heart open for you so you can see who you truly are. Because you are much more than just human. So, while you're feeling this uh, wiggling going on and you're wondering, uh, wow, you know, what is that? That is your light body coming online. Those vortexes are spinning. They're spinning up because your heart's beginning to open. If you don't open your heart, that stuff won't spin open. Your heart has got to open. That's the first doorway it's got to open before the chakras open. But I'm telling you, when you strive to be, to be more in love with yourself, then every time you come by a human being, that love is radiating from you. Because God is the actual light that shines down upon you every day. He is a part of that light. And that light's growing every day on the planet. And unfortunately, the darkness that's been holding this planet, you know, for a long time, is uh, rearing its teeth. But that time is done for them. And this is going to be the end of part two of my meditation. There may be a one or two more after, 
uh, I won't give the advanced one until later on down the road. But work on that. Try these things out. Uh, you know, remember, this is key. Uh, believe it or not, it may look dumb, but it is key to meditation. And it gets you opening your heart to find out who you are. You. The much more than just human. At least, the grander part of you. Thanks, everybody, for putting up with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping that this, this helps you guys out because it'll help your photography out. It'll help your soul out. It will, it will bring new insights that you haven't seen before into your consciousness. And your photography will excel. Uh... Uh, and I want to share this with you and be truthful about it. Truth is paramount. You know, if, if I do something wrong, I'm going to tell you I did something wrong because you see what's happening now. We know they're lying. So what does that do? It, the trust is out the door. There's no more trust. Because they're just lying to you in the face. So always strive to tell the truth. You'll never have to look behind you. Ever. Again. Sometimes you can't tell the whole truth because people aren't like... It depends on where their consciousness is at. They're not like ready for the whole truth. It's okay. Tell them what you can. Tell them what they're willing... Maybe what they're willing to accept or think about and let them find their own truth on their own way. You can't force your uh, knowledge or truth upon somebody that is not ready for it. So do it gently. From the heart, of course. Okay. Thanks everybody. Hey, please subscribe, like, and share and have a beautiful day. <laughs>